Section 9.4, systems of inequalities. So similar idea, but we'll have inequality symbols. So a solution to an inequality in two variables is any ordered pair, which satisfies the inequality. Same thing as an equation, but now it satisfies the greater than or less than case as well. Um, and the graph of a solution set of an inequality in two variables is just all the points that make the inequality true. So let's look at an inequality that's not a system, so just a single inequality, an inequality in two variables. And then we'll see what the system does. So it's a system once I have two inequalities. So it's not quite a system yet. So we have x plus 3y greater than or equal to 6. So I'm going to solve for y so that I can graph. So subtract x, subtract x. 3y is greater than or equal to negative x plus 6. And we'll divide everything by 3. So y is greater than or equal to negative 1 third x plus 2. So we'll go ahead and draw the line. We'll start at 0, 2. And then we'll go down 1 over 3 over to the right. So 1, 1, 2, 3. 1, 1, 2, 3. And then go ahead and draw the line. So greater than or equal means the line is included for the or equal. And then greater than just means any y value that's bigger. So y values that are bigger would be above. So we basically just shade everything above. And that's how we graph the inequality. So any point that's shaded, all of these points are solutions. So there's lots of solutions. Anything above the line or on the line is a solution. All right, so let's see what a system does now. So a system will have two lines or two equations. They might not be lines. So what we'll do is we'll find them each individually. So I'll shade maybe them in different colors to make it obvious. Um, and then we'll find where they overlap and where they overlap is the solution. Um, if the line is included, we draw a line. We draw a dashed line when the line is not included. So that would be for greater thans or less thans, not the or equal. When we have the or equal, the line is included. So let's try two systems. Um, so let's graph the solution set to x plus y is less than or equal to 1, and then negative x plus 2y is greater than 4. This is a system because there's two now. So if you have two colors, this is a great time to use them. So x plus y is less than or equal to 1. Let's solve for y so we can graph. y is less than or equal to negative x plus 1. So we'll start at 1, 0, 1. And then the slope tells me to go down 1 over 1 negative. Down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1. The line is included because of the or equal. So we'll just draw the line. If you have something to make it straight, that's great. Line's not perfect. And then less than means below. So down here. These are all less than. So we'll shade all of this. All right, so why don't you solve the second one for y? Negative x plus 2y greater than 4. Add x. 2y is greater than 4. x plus 4. Divide by 2. So y is greater than 1 half x plus 2. Um, if you're feeling confident, go and graph that line. We'll start at 0, 2. And then we go up 1 over one over 2. And then we'll draw a line. And then since it's not or equal, the line is not included. So we make a dashed line.
I forgot it erases the whole thing. You can just erase parts to make a dashed line. The dashed line indicates that the line is not included. So anything on this line is not a solution. And then greater than means above, so greater than. And then we're trying to solve the system, so what do they have in common? That would be this area on the left side, above the dashed line, but below the solid line. And so any point in this purple region on mine is a solution. So there's not necessarily a nice way to write the solution mathematically, so we sketch the map solution graphically. And so, yeah, there we go. Let's try one more, they don't have to be linear. So we have y is less than four minus x squared, and we have y is greater than x. So let's go ahead and graph these. So y is less than four minus x squared, that represents a parabola. It opens down because of negative. And it's just a shifted version. So we have x squared, we have negative x squared, and then it just goes up four. So we'll start at zero, four. And it opens down. Um, we could find the intercepts if we want our line to be a little more accurate. So 4 minus x squared equals 0. So that'll be at 2 and negative 2. 2 minus x and 2 plus x. If you want your graph to be a little more accurate. And then because it's not or equal, we don't include the line. So draw a dashed line. I just draw it as best as you can. There we go. And then less than means below. So y values that are less than are below. These are smaller y values. So anything kind of inside the parabola is a solution. Now let's add y is greater than or equal to x. So that's just a line through the origin where y and x are equal. So we go up one over one, up one over one. The line is included. And then greater than or equal means above. So it'll be everything above. So all of this, everything above, we look at the, I always look at the y axis for greater than or less than because we're looking at y. So greater than is above. And then we just shade what they have in common, and that's our solution set. So it's this region inside, basically inside both pieces. And that is our solution. So we get to practice a little bit of graphing while doing something new. Be sure to let me know if you have any questions.